Hello and welcome to episode 13 of the FTB Pyramid Reborn Speedrun Race. I'm Payne Teagle and this is gonna be good. So, let's check out this mob farm, take a look at it. We got a couple heads, not a whole ton, but uh, <clears throat> as we're going, I'm sure we'll get more and more heads. What do we have for decapitation upgrades? All 10 on there, alright. Uh, I might want to upgrade the looting upgrade on that. So looting, that's actually pretty easy. I think we can have 10 of them. Yeah, max of 10. That's a really easy one to make. Uh, let's check out how this is going. So 64 basalt. We got the last one going. 64 there. We got nine more going. 35. That'll be 36. There we go. Basalt. Basalt. Not basalt. Basalt. There we go there. And 9 times 4, that'll be 36. Alright, while this is going, I think I want to start on doing, um... Oh, what, what's that pressure one? Pressure... Pneumaticraft, there we go. Uh, because Pneumaticraft is going to be the first one we work on here the programmer, and at the same time, we want to make the Starfield creator. So I kind of want to work on those sort of side by side. Um, but I will start with, I want to start with Pneumaticraft. I'm going to do it right here on this dirt. So the way you start Pneumaticraft is you need a whole bunch of, uh, of compressed iron. And compressed iron comes in two ways. You can either make it by, um, let's build that in, there we go. You can either make compressed iron by, um, using a, a machine from Pneumaticraft to compress the iron, but the way you're supposed to get started with it is you use a bit of TNT. Uh, let's get this here with a button, put most of it away, instead of a button, uh, some TNT, and you blow up the iron. And when you blow up the iron, that, uh, that causes it to turn into the compressed iron. So how much do we have? 475? Let's just get four stacks going. Uh, and TNT. We need sand. There we go. We only, I'm only going to go with one TNT for now. I don't need a ton of it. See, look, we got another skull in there. So let's make the TNT. Go. Only want one. So we'll make it real simply like this. TNT goes there. Iron. Let's see if I can land here, right? Uh, iron will all just go right in the water, right there. And this water should help keep the TNT from destroying everything. There we go. And we have a sack and a bit. Oh, here's some more. There we go. Three sacks and a little bit of compressed iron. Now let's check the uh, the light levels. Yeah, knocked a couple torches loose. That's all right. There we go. That works. And then with this, we can just vein mine it all away. I think I need another torch. And another stick, which means I need some wood. Alright. So now that we have this compressed iron, we can get going on the programmer. And while... Let's see, is this done? Yeah, actually, let's, uh, let's make this stuff. So you can be made there. There we go. Like that. And there we go, that should be enough. That'll melt it down. And I want this to only accept from the top. There we go, that'll work. Um, because I want to put it all into a drum. It's gonna take some, let's put all the compressed iron in here for now. It's gonna take some iron, just take a stack. 
couple plates. A cauldron. And then just throw together a drum. And that's when I'm going to store the Petrothium in. So why don't you just shoot it out the front? You can't. Okay. Um, I don't really want to do this the back or the side. Um, I guess I can do the side. I can do it here. That's just going to lose any power if it has it. There we go. So that's now Petrothium. And when that reaches 50 buckets, we'll be good to go. I can just stick this down over here. That'll work. All right. We're making gold. We have plenty of gold. We can stop that. Uh, you're not making anything else. I think I'm going to need some more iron. So I'm going to set up iron to run. There we go. Let's make some iron. And let's put all the rest away. Okay. So, compressed iron. So we need air compressors. And the most basic air compressor we can make is this one, just the basic one, like that. But I want to make a liquid compressor. Pretty simple. Leather, compressor, tubes, buckets, that's pretty easy. We can make a zombie flesh in there. Or zombie flesh like that. I think that's the way I'm going to go. Zombie flesh in front of that laser. So, might have a little bit of zombie flesh in here. And really, for this job... The hardest part was the uh, the leather. You out of power? You're out of power. So you need some more power. I bet you backlogged. This is backlogged. Good. So I can give it some more power this way. How about you? You guys all full? Yep. Looks like these things are filling up really nicely uh, because they don't need to worry about about making extra coal. All right, so this goes. Ah, uh, they didn't, I got a couple more. All right, well, let's just make a bunch of buckets. I think I want 10 buckets. There we go, 10 buckets, uh, because that'll allow me to make 10 of these. So I need 10 furnaces, so that's four. There's 10. All right, now I need to make compressed tube. It should be enough to make a little bit of the compressed pipes. We go. I'm gonna make a bunch of them just because I feel like we're probably gonna need them. All right, so pipes, furnaces, compressed iron all the way around. There we go. That is our 10 air compressors. And then air compressor with buckets. I'll just do it this way. Make it easy. There we go. 10 liquid compressors. We can pump all sorts of fuel into there. Yeah, uh, but it needs liquid fuel. So for liquid fuel, I'm going to set this up over here. This is going to be my my area that I'm going to do the pneumatic craft. Do I have a filter's wand on me? I do. Go. That's better. Or I guess I'm out of cobblestone now. And I'm always I always have too much cobblestone in my inventory until I actually need it to build something. And here we go. I can build this out a bit. This should be getting to enough room for pneumatic craft. And the other stuff that I want to do with it, too. So come on, let's build this out. That's good enough. Okay. So for pneumatic craft, these compressors, I'm just going to set them up right here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now I got to figure out something to do to get them some oil. And for that, I'm going to use canola oil. I feel like that should work out pretty well. Uh, for canola oil, I need a lot of wood. 
let's just make some stacks of wood uh, because I need canola press. Uh, that's gonna take some, take lots of stuff. Okay, so we'll start with a single piece of canola. We'll take a piece of iron that has been lasered. Take, let's see, is it in here? Yep. Oh, I guess I already had some lasered iron. I'm gonna take that, some black quartz, and some gold nuggets. Here we go. All right, canola press. Boom, we got one of these. Got one of these. And we need cobble. There we go, canola press. The canola press. I believe it does take power, which fortunately we've got power generating there. Um, but it will take the canola seeds out of here and turn them into a low-grade canola oil. So I'm going to put these right here. So one, and I need to make a bunch more. So let's make four. Uh, let's make five total. That's four more of that. Four there. That should be enough. Let's see if we can what we can make here. So there's four of that. There's four of that. And we've got four of these. These boom 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 boom. Alright, so now I need item ducks to get them from the canola growing over to uh, over to these machines. So it comes right out of here. And got two more. Can I make it? I think this is enough. Boom, boom. And that'll pump them in once. Oh, is it already going? No. Maybe? I don't think so. Oh, there it is. Okay. Looks like they're in there. Okay, but these need power. So I need flux ducts. And I'm just gonna make some more leadstone flux ducts. The iron and glass. Leadstone flux ducts, there we go. Let's make, I need more of that, there we go. So leadstone flux ducts, just gonna go pretty basic with this. And I'm gonna pump it in, I'm gonna pump the power in the side. And this is just gonna be a mess. This is how it's gonna be. There we go. Get uh, the wrench, get rid of that. And now you can see that all of these are making canola oil, fast as they can, uh, getting power might want to hook up to plenty of wheat. I'm going to make a second one to run canola. That's what I'm going to do. So two running canola should be much better than just one. And I really don't need a lot more wheat. Go. Put the seeds away. Put the canola seeds away. Put all this away. There we go. Alright, we're cleaned out, more or less. Um... Two running canola, I need another item duct. Another item duct is lead and tin. So with my two tin and my one lead, put it in the right place, I get another item duct. And now I can double speed. You know what, that should be plenty. I'm just gonna quadruple speed this up. I need some dirt. I should have plenty of cactus and plenty of sugarcane. And what I need is canola for power. Oh yeah, 64, that is more than enough. There we go. Get rid of all that. Throw that in there. There we go. Now we're running canola full scale. Four machines running it. We should be good. Um, and I'm just going to get rid of 
this set up here. Because we really don't need this anymore. Don't need to make steel or anything like that. And all these should power these. Okay. So, now that we have the basics of canola being made... Um... Gosh, where are... I put the chest over here. Alright, I'm just going to dump all the plant stuff over here to these chests. Because that's getting a little overwhelming. Okay. So now we need fermentation barrels. There we go. Fermenting barrels. Fermenting barrels. Okay. So you need more Inori, wood casing, and logs. And I think with logs, we're going to need more, more trees. So it's going to grow a bunch more. I know that we grew a bunch a while ago. Um... I feel like we're gonna need them. There's two in there, we'll leave... Oh, there we go. There's some saplings. So we'll just grow a bunch of trees. Uh, if I need to, I'll bone meal them up. But the, uh, the method to get a lot of trees very quickly, automatically, is uh, it's kind of a lot of work to do. And will take way too much time. And in the end, I won't need that many trees. So we're just going to do it this way for now. We just grow the trees along the outside, and then I will just vein mine them all. We'll grow some in so we can get that one there. there we go. Vein mine every once in a while to get what I need. As to be a good start. So, unbreakable tool. Vein mine it away. There we go. And vein mine it away. All I have to keep watch of is my hunger. There we go. Make sure there's no floating uh, leaf balls. Because that would be really annoying. Alright. I'll leave these for now. I should be enough wood to last for a little bit. And let's eat an apple. And then cook some more apples. How's this going? This looks like it's going pretty well. We've got 24 buckets. All right. Cook some apples. Put some wood away. All right. You know, let's make this grow faster. I'm just going to give them the bone meal. Because they do grow faster with bone meal. Not, it's not a huge improvement. Uh, there's better fertilizers. But bone meal does help them. All right. So, on to getting things done for real. Okay, so I need fermenting barrels. Fermenting barrels are going to be a bunch of these, and I think I'm going to need at least 10. I'm going to make 20, just because I'd rather, I'd rather not run out or slow canola production down uh, from there. So I'll need 20 bits of canola. So just wait. We'll get some from here. Three, three more. You're going. Three more. There you go. Bit by bit, we're getting them. Uh, we're gonna need these wood casings. So let's go here. Wood casings. A bunch of sticks. So that should do four, six, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. Wood casings. There's 16. There we go. There's 20 wood casings. And now for this, we can do 12. That's a start. And these. Ah, uh, let's see. <clears throat> I'm going to put all of these right here. Oh, this one's already getting stuff in it. So it's being adjacent that it can get stuff. Um, there we go. So five will do these four tall. When we get the rest of the uh, canola that we need. Oh, there we go. Fifteen canola. That's plenty. We can reconnect this. 
and it's going. And these are filling up. Yeah, they're full up of canola, and they're full of canola oil. Uh, just a basic canola oil. And then this stuff, this one here, is getting refined canola oil. And this is what we're going to pipe into that. It's the refined canola oil. So, let's make some more wood casings so we can really speed up that... Or not the wood casings, just the fermenters. So we can speed up that, uh, that canola production. Canola production. Wow, I am not speaking very well right now. Uh, so we need... What is that? Eight more? Eight more. Three. What are we short on? Logs. There we go. Eight more. And we'll set these up. Boom. And across. Now we need a bunch of fluid ducts. I believe that's copper and glass. Fluid duct. It is copper and glass. I don't think that's going to be enough. I think I need more glass. Let me get that cooking. Let's uh, let's make some more sand because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be running low. Uh, soul sand. I do not need more soul sand. I'm good on that. I should be good on on all the quartz too. So let's put this stuff away. I bet Soul Sand doesn't have a home, does it? Nope. Alright. You're probably... Yeah, you're not making any iron because you're making gold. Okay. So stuff's being put away. We're getting organized. We'll, we'll get there eventually. Okay. Organization, and we're full. Perfect. So I like to see just some back stock. All right. So these are great in the sense that they automatically output their contents. So these will automatically fill up. Uh, unfortunately, it won't round robin it. It'll just go from one end to the other. Uh, but these seem to be filling up pretty well. So I just got to make some more of that. And we'll pull all sorts of... Uh, all sorts of oil out. More fluid ducts. Let's make a bunch more. Alright. There we go. Mass producing oil. Get rid of this. And we can... This will be our oil insertion side. And you can pull air out of this side. So that's what these pressure tubes are for. They pull air out, and they get, let you have pressurized air. Now, something I do want is the ability to control those um, those compressors with redstone. So I need redstone relays, which will take signalum nuggets. And this is some work to get. So the signalum blend is copper, silver, and destabilized redstone. I can do that once this is done. So this is on its last bit, um, but for now, let's just work on getting all of these full with some really nice, um, some good power, power generating fuel. Where's that axe? Because with this, we get some more wood. Look at that, getting all this wood. It's great. We can make the stuff that we need. All right, so let's make some more. Uh, pressure tubes. So pressure tubes are glass. And this. And that makes eight. So I think I'm gonna want 16 more. That seems good. Now, we have the pressure chamber wall. So 16 of these. I don't think that's enough. I think I'm going to need another recipe of it. And I'm going to need a couple hoppers. And a couple chests. And I'm probably going to use all four of these chests. So I might as well make all four. There we go. Got the hoppers. 
I need two of these. One, two. Um, and a valve. I do need one of these. Only one. I don't need you know, four of them. Uh, let's make some pressure chamber glass. Yeah, that's good. Alright. Now, our pressure chamber. It's, uh, it's pretty easy to build. It's pretty straightforward design. I'll just put it over here. I'm probably going to need to be lighting this up again once I finish uh, finish building this. There we go. So I do need, definitely need more pressure chamber walls. Okay. I was hoping to get away with only one crafting of it. Alright, pressure chamber walls. So what this is going to do is this forms a multi-block, which accepts air pressure, and then uses that air pressure to create things. So on one end, we need an input, and we can put the input here, yeah. The other end, we need an output, and we'll put that over that way. Then I want a piece of glass right here to watch it, and then the valve to let air in right here. There we go, look at that. And you can watch from this end, and then with these, pressure tubes. There we go. That's how we're going to get air in. So you can see right now it has zero pressure, and if I put some canola into this, it would start generating some. Uh, let's go to one that actually has some refined oil in it. So is this all? Ooh, it all pulled it right back out. That is not what I want. Uh, I think it's time to make another drum. Let's see. Just a bunch of iron. Yeah, I was not expecting it to pull it all right back out immediately. I guess I should have since it pulled it out, you know, that one way right away. Alright. So we'll just put it all into this drum so we can fill up this drum. And this will be... At some point, we'll get oil. Alright, so this thing is. Why is it no problems? Redstone. Enable on any signal. Upgrade available fuels. Ooh. I do not see. Oh, creosote. No, creosote oil. That's not what we want. Um, although we can make creosote oil, that's not what we want. We wanted, huh, so we have in refined canola oil, refined, refined fuel, refined canola oil, fractioning silk and return it, okay, what can we use it for? LPG gas and refined naphtha trio of diesel, ethanol, biomass, liquefactive coal, blazing pyrothium, creosote oil, oil, lava, IC2 hot coolant, pahoaho lava, liquid glass, steam, protein, sludge biofuel, superheated steam, steam, latex, liquid meat, tectonic petrothium, hot springs water, primal mana. Huh, so apparently this is not going to work for us. All right. Well, I seem to have been barking up quite the wrong tree here then. Um, it's all right. I have a way around this that I may have been setting up for a while. Of 55 buckets of lava. That should work for a little bit. Yeah, let's get in there. Uh, let's see if just putting a single bucket of lava in, how does that do? No, nope, well, it's using it. See it going down slowly. And it's increasing pressure somewhere. Yeah, bit by bit. Because the system is so big, it's going to increase pressure really slowly. Um, so what I might want to do is actually hook this thing up to constant power so that we get a lot more lava coming in. Let's do that. Go directly there, and we'll get a small line going there. 
just to give it whatever it needs. Um, to throw this furnace generator on there, and I can give it some more coal. Okay, well it seems that for now, uh, my whole setup to make a whole bunch of really nice powerful fuel has come to a bit of a screeching halt. 67 buckets of that nice fuel. Um, let's see. Refined canola oil. I can use it to... Huh. Is there a way I can make steam from thermal with it, maybe? Hmm. Okay. Well, it, uh, it seems that whole setup is useless now. I went down definitely the wrong route there, but hey, I, uh, in case I do need it, I've got it set up, and I have lots of extra wood that I'm probably never going to use. Oh well, um, at least I have the lava that I'm making, and it's being made pretty consistently. So we're at 59 buckets now, this thing constantly going, gathering up the lava, and spitting it into this thing. So that should work decently well. Um, so I think this is about the point where I need to call it an episode, because I definitely need to reconsider my strategy going forward. Um, I don't think there's going to be any major issues, but it's going to be something to think about. So I'm going to need to put lava up to those things to get power going. Uh, and once lava's going there, then I'll be able to move on with the mod. Um, but until then, I think all I can do is just kind of wait for lava to go as I get the rest of this going. Let's light this up. Don't want things spawning out here, if only because it will mess up our spawners. And that is important. Let's uh, make some more... Make some more of these. The torches, that's what they're called. Uh, get some more torches going down, and then... There we go. Alright, let's check our head situation. Six heads. Alright, I am going to make some looting upgrades, and I think that's the point where we're going to call it. So looting, take some of that, some of that, and some of that. Um, no, I think five is the right number. There we go. Looting goes like that. And then we can put these away in this machine. And this will increase the number of drops. I don't know how it affects the heads. It'll definitely increase the number of drops. So this might just fill up faster, uh, but who knows. All right, well, I think this is a good time to call it an episode, especially since it's raining and no one really wants to deal with that. So thank you so much for joining me on today's adventure in FTB Pyramid Reborn and my speed run race against Ira and, uh, and her patrons. Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, this is uh, this is where we are. Barking up the wrong tree for a bit, but have a fantastic day.